What's going on guys, it's Fuzzy. Welcome back to yet another MLB The Show 18 Battle Royale video. And guess what? Do you see this? I have a brand new workstation. I was just getting to the point where I felt so stuffed over there, but I gotta show you guys something, okay? I gotta show you this, okay? So there was something under my desk. I found this. This is the best, this is the best thing ever. Watch this. Gotcha. All right, guys, so before we actually get into the gameplay, I'm gonna need all of your help in the comment section down below. If you wanna see, also, you gotta like the video. So you gotta leave a like and leave a comment on the video saying, I wanna see more Battle Royale, I wanna see more Diamond Dynasty, and we the show 18 videos, because if you guys wanna see this, with this new setup, I just feel so much more energized. We can bring daily MLB The Show 18 videos. Maybe not daily, I'll try my best, but I'm gonna have fun with this game. Because as you guys can see, I drafted a pretty solid squad. I got pool holes on the squad. Chris Bryant, Matt Kemp, who was playing up on the day. Then we got the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Jonathan Lucroy, that's we all know that's Kevin Jody's favorite player. And then on the uh, bullpen side, we have Jurgis Familia, we have this Zach Brin. So, not the best bullpen that we've ever had, but it'll do. But we're gonna go ahead and play a Coors Field today because I can't remember the last time that I played a Coors Field on this channel. But you know what? We're back in the chair, we're in the commander's seat, and I'm ready to go. And you know, the nice thing about this, I'm not sure if I want to do it, but I can kind of I can pick up my camera, I can move things around because this game, we all know it, uh, it can sometimes make me a little upset. So, we're gonna try our best to stay calm, we're gonna stay patient. Probably gonna go up against a level 100 diamond and get smacked, but you know what? We believe in ourselves. We are playing the Outer Space Terrestrials. His name is, uh, I don't want to say that, but something me. He has Cattell Marte, Bryce Harper, Chris Davis, Vladimir Guerrero, Ozzy Albies, Matt Carpenter, Jonathan Lucroy, Brandon Moss, and he has something... K Graveman on the mound. It's a very scary name, but it kind of suits Halloween, so I'm okay with it. But guys, the one thing, the one message that I want to get across in this video is today is Monday. I want you guys to reset your brains. I've done a lot of stuff today just to kind of make my life a little bit easier. I have a thinking station now. I know that might sound cheesy, but you guys got to switch things up. If you're in a rut, if you're in a funk, I just want to reach out to you right now and say, I'm gonna, I was in a rut as well. I just, I couldn't focus on anything. So if you guys are feeling a little bit on edge and not yourself, just reset the button. It's Monday. It's a perfect day to do that. And let's get into the game because it's all positive vibes from here on out all positive vibes you already know we got to get the bullpen warmed up so we're gonna go with the Jake McGee and Kirby Yates so these are our kind of you know worst bullpen arms that we have in on the team so we're gonna go ahead and go with this slider down inside that's ah, a terrible first pitch I hope he swings at it, 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 it. How did he even get barrel on that? <laughs> How did Cattell Marte hit that? But we have Matt Kemp in center field, so I'm gonna bless Matt Kemp because his hitting stats, or his, not his hitting stats, his hitting stats are amazing. His fielding stats are uh, a little bit suspect, so we're gonna throw this change up downstairs, make sure that it's way down, and okay, nice eye. I for sure thought he was gonna swing at that, so we're gonna go ahead and bring in Jake McGee because this Bryce Harper card, sure he's Bryce Harper, but this is the rookie version, so he doesn't have the best stats versus lefties, and what I should probably do is I should probably go back to my bullpen and warm up Zach Britton. Okay, there we go, perfect, beautiful. That's, oh, so if I throw another, so he has a two and one count for a second, I thought it was two strikes, but if I go with this two seam inside, I guarantee you he swings at it. You, if he does not, Angel Hernandez, get in my face, bro. I walked him, I walked him, why? <laughs> I walked him, there's no urgency. J Jonathan Lucroy legit cannot block a ball to save his life. It's maybe Kevin Judy was onto something. I'm gonna throw a curveball. I gotta get used to this whole, did he steal? He stole a base, GG. Now, if I do a little... Oh, that's a home run. 100% home run. Oh, God. Okay. Who? I don't know who's in left field, but I know he has a cannon. That's Gary Carter. Okay. He has an absolute rocket. I have Al K line in right field. I have Gary Carter in left field. So, if he hits anything to the outfield except center field, this guy's pretty much toast. Mound visit so I can give him a little bit more time. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Kirby Yates because he doesn't throw that hard. I'm hoping that I can turn a double play with this splitter. He's probably going to steal. I'm like 100% positive he's going to steal. Oh my gosh. I have so many righties on my team. I just realized that. This is our first game back. Vladimir Guerrero. Oh. Oh, gosh. First game back. We haven't even hit yet, but uh, so far, not so great. Back in the day when I used to be a, an absolute god at this game, I, I, I've gone 12-0 multiple times. I only used to use meter. So we're going to try that out for the rest of this game because I just I can't use piano. Like, there we go. I, had a, I got a good timing on the first throw. So we're going to go ahead and keep it at that. Let's go with the slider down on this side because this is like the kryptonite for any lefty in this game. And there we go. That is going to be two outs, ladies and gentlemen. Get back to second base. Otherwise, I'm going to throw your butt out. Okay, good job. Good job. Oh, no. No, you. No. He was a... Oh, <sighs> that was scary. Vladimir Guerrero got lucky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him that. He got lucky on that pitch. And that slider inside to a lefty. It is absolutely filthy. And then we'll go with a splitter down in the way. This will go ahead and strike him out. Beautiful. Oh. Throw him out. Throw him out, Gary. Throw him out, Gary. And he's got the base of juice now. Base of juice. Yo, this guy might be the greatest hitter that I've ever seen. Did you just see that? Before he went into the pause menu, did you see where that pitch was? How was he able to hit that? How? I... I no. No, 
No! There we go. Okay. Okay, so the damage was done. One run was given up. So now we are going to the bottom of the first inning. Okay, so we're playing at Coors Field. He got one run on three hits. But you know what? Being the home team at Coors Field usually means good things. And we have Albert Pujols, the Immortal card, up first. And I think he's going to throw maybe a, maybe a fastball up. A change up. And I, I missed my spot. I dropped my PCI. I hate when that happens because I know it's my fault. Well, that was uh, a... <laughs> That was not a good way. Look at that PCI, man. I just missed that bitch. That was not a good way to start. Now, if I leave my PCI down, is that a good idea? Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Where do you leave your PCI? Is it the top left, the top right, the bottom of the zone? Because MLB The Show 18 is a little bit different than last year's game where it just feels a little bit more sensitive. Like, if you move your PCI, it goes... So, yeah, I'm just... I'm curious what you guys think. And Matt Kempe's pulling up against righties. I'm going to power swing. I just missed that bitch. Now, throw me one up in the zone. Ugh. I'm sorry, I just let an evil spirit <laughs> like take over my body, and I'm I'm terribly sorry. There we go. I'm I'm really glad I 48 speed, beat it out, Matt Camp. Beat it out. Channel your inner Yes! Yes! I told him to channel his inner Matt Camp days when he was used to be fast. I don't even know what it words. Everyone watching right now, I need you to send me your energy. We have Jonathan Lucroy up at the dish. He's probably about to bring in a really good relief pitcher. <laughs> Is that the immortal? Okay, so we have immortal goose gossage. Oh, that's uh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be great. Double play. Double play. <laughs> Wait, is he gonna beat it out? That's that's fantastic. He did his job. Jonathan Lucroy did his job. Jonathan Lucroy, he's just supposed to suck. I don't know why I picked him. There we go. Beautiful slider inside. I get you. I just want this guy to strike out. I haven't thrown him a fastball, but I'm kind of nervous too. Let's go with a knuckle curve down and away. A sweeping curve. Beautiful. That's one out. Who are you gonna bring in for me? Who are you gonna bring in? Are you actually gonna take him out? Oh my gosh. I, okay, maybe it wasn't the immortal uh, Rich Gossage or Goose Gotches, whatever you wanna call him. He's, he's known by many names, but let's go with a off-speed splitter downstairs. He doesn't swing at it, nice. So this guy is a level 78 silver, so he unfortunately cannot get the new, there's a brand new immortal Joe Torrey. Oh wait, Joe Torrey. What am I talking about, Joe Torrey? Yogi Berra. <laughs> There's an immortal Yogi Berra on the ticket counter, but you have to be a diamond level, so neither of us can get that. And guys, I'm actually curious. Do any of you guys have that card yet? Because, oh, oh, Hanley, I thought you could get that. I haven't really seen that many people, at least on my friends list, actually get to a diamond level unless you're talking about Coogs or Kevin. So, uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure how that's going to work, but uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave in Kirby Yates against Bryce Harper, which is probably not a great idea. Throw him out. Throw him out. Who is that, 83 speed? I hate you. Let me do this. Oh my, yeah. how did he hit that ball? How did he do that? That ball wasn't even in the zone, dog. That ball, like, that, 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 I, I, uh, that's two runs on balls that are not even inside the zone. Like, I'm, I, I, yeah, I gotta get the rest off. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? There's a fly in my room. When did he score? When did he, what just happened? I think my controller is, the fly picked the button for me. Oh my gosh, I thought that ball was about to hit. 555 feet into my grandma's backyard where she has a garden and picks her tomatoes. I thought that was about to hit a tomato, but uh, yeah, we're down by three. Uh, we already used up all of our great players in the top of the first inning and we didn't score any runs because Jonathan Lucroy is uh, pretty good. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll respect it. 64 speed, oh, we're beating that out. We're beating that out every single time. There we go. Little cheese base hit to start off the bottom of the second. I like it. Ooh, Hanley Ramirez. Hanley Ramirez has amazing stats versus lefties. How many double plays am I going to... How many double plays am I going to round into, bro? How many double plays? Who is this, Gary Carter? I think Gary Carter has good stats against lefties. I don't even want to move my hat right now, dude. I'm just... I'm so upset. Maybe I should stop swinging to every single pitch. I think that'd probably be a good idea. It is all good in the hood. I have Zach Britt against a lefty. Brandon Moss. He, I mean, again, he's got terrible stats against lefties. That's the nice thing about this game is you can always play the matchups and get it pretty much easy out. So if I throw the slider, easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. We're going to go with another slider down on the way, but make sure it's outside the zone. Good. Get on my face. There we go. That's what I like to see. A pitch that is outside the zone that is hit in a location where I have a fielder because that's how baseball works. I mean, I, sometimes in real life, you can hit a ball that's outside the zone for a home run or something like that. But, uh, okay, he brought in a righty against Brad Miller. He played into my hand perfectly. Beautiful. I don't even know who this is. Who, Qualls? Chad Qualls? He's got an amazing sinker. Nice. All right, so we have an 0-2 count. Again, we're trying to wipe off the rust so we can make a comeback. And Brad Miller, he's going to pop up. That ball's not going anywhere. Not traveling. We already got one out in the bottom of the third. No. I think I'm going to go with Todd Frazier. The Todd father, he's got pretty good right-handed power. Let's see if we can maybe turn on a pitch and hit over the left field wall. Just like that. Uh, 
I hate hitting foul ball home runs. It's so annoying, man. It's, it ruins your spirits. <laughs> oh, I mean, we're, at least we're back to the top of the order, but man, this has not been a good return to YouTube. I'm sorry, guys. You guys got to witness this horribleness. All right, we're going to focus up. We are going to make this comeback right now with... Oh, uh, man, I feel like I hit the ball so much better, but the PCI in this game is a little bit freaky. I'm going to be honest with you guys, but I'm not going to make any excuses. I'm going to take my L. He deserved that win. Mr. Outer Space, and I just played ET. I just played ET, and he whooped my butt. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching again. If you guys want to see more MLB The Show 18 content, make sure that you guys slap that like button, subscribe, comment down below that you want to see more, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.